Hi, I'm Grace, and this is Get Sketchy With Me, which is like get ready with me's that makeup gurus do, but like worse and also more punny. Ha ha ha, I'm so funny. It's like 10 o'clock and I'm recording this, so the jokes are not good right now. The jokes are not good. I'm tired. I have a bedtime of like 8 o'clock. I'm like a child. Um, so last week I was on this, like, religious retreat thing that my school does called Kairos, which is why I wasn't able to post a video, uh, so I'm sorry for that. This is the makeup video. Um, so for this week I just decided to do me, like, sketching in my sketchbook, very casual, not serious at all, and I decided to draw this girl with, like, kind of a skeptical, uh, look on her face, which is honestly, like, such a life mood towards everything. Um, I feel like I look like this a lot. Um, so anyways, now I'm just sketching out the hair, and I kind of had this idea of doing like a half up bun bob type deal. I always wanted my hair to look like this when I had a bob, and I tried to do this hairstyle multiple times, but my hair is really thin, and so it just kind of looked really sad. So like, life pro tip, if you have thin hair and you want it to feel thicker, and you don't mind like it feeling like straw and damaged, bleach it a lot, which is what I have done, and it makes it feel so much thicker. It's so nice, but also like so bad for your hair and its health. Um, so I have sketched a lot of this. Now I'm just adding her little, like, kimono-style cardigan, um, and putting in some of her shorts, or actually, no, I'm adding more shading around the eyes, and just sort of darkening all my lines. When I sketch with a ballpoint pen, I go really lightly at first, um, because, you know, if you make mistakes, like, you can't erase them or anything, uh, and then I go over it with dark. Um, oh yeah, and then I start filling in all the blocks of color and shading with this bright pink highlighter uh, and then I realized that maybe the bright pink highlighter wasn't the best choice because it's literally like neon pink off the page so I tried to mute it down by adding a pattern with the blue sharpie and then I guess I decided that all of that was completely pointless because I was gonna go and do all my shading with the bright pink highlighter anyways um, which is like kind of how I sketch honestly it's like on the fly I never really know what I'm doing and if I, this video wasn't sped up, you would just see me like staring at the page for like five seconds, just being like, what should I do now? Um, so now I'm just adding some shading to the hair, like not a ton, keeping it really loose because it's like, you know, not super um, like a finished piece or painting. Um, adding an epicanthic fold because I'm trying to draw my Asian girls and I have an epicanthic fold, so I figured that good thing to add. Um, so now I'm just like adding a little more shading around the eyes to make it look like she's monolith. Uh, shading the neck. Oh, back with the hot pink Sharpie. Uh, I don't think it's even my Sharpie. Fun story, in my AP art class at my school, um, all the AP art students are kind of in this, like, storage room. It goes off of the art room, and there's, like, 12 of us in there, and we all have our own desks, so it's, like, our own studio that we all share. Um, but, like, because everyone's in one room together, a lot of art supplies kind of migrate desks and stuff. Um, so I'm pretty sure that this Sharpie is actually Sonny's who sits next to me. To be fair though, I do think he has like half of my acrylic paints. Um, I should do an art room tour actually. I think it would be really interesting since everyone has their own mini studio and like there's a lot of our art hanging up on uh, cork boards. So I'll have to ask my classmates. So yeah, I'm like now defining the shorts. I wanted to look like those rolled hem shorts that were popular at like Okay, like, H&M sold them, and you know when H&M starts selling something, that's like the kiss of death in terms of, like, trendiness. Like, it's, it's over with. But yeah, there were those, short, like, cloth shorts last summer with rolled hems that were, saw a lot of people wearing that I wanted to wear, but didn't buy fast enough, and now can't wear. Or actually, I can. You know what? Who needs to follow fashion trends? Not you, and uh, not me. I swear, if you actually saw me like every single day, you, you would know. I dress like your mom if she was goth, but not goth, like, like a goth soccer mom, but not that cool. I'm making myself sound cooler than I am. So yeah, now I'm just adding some shading around the whole body so it looks like a 3D object. And now I'm adding like this block of circle color behind her. This is where I use the majority of the highlighter ink also. Um, so like I kind of see these on Tumblr. I think they're just to make backgrounds look more interesting. I use it in my sketchbook sometimes. Just you know fill up the space, look nice. Uh, I should probably do a video on like how to make your sketchbook pages like cohesive and full but I also honestly don't really know how to do that. So yeah that was this week's video. Pretty calm after uh, last week's video which was controversial to say the least. Um, I hope you guys liked it and yeah thank you for watching. So this is it. Can I show my face? It's...
recording down. Can you not? <laughs> I'm finally in it.